So I currently have the TSE3 download cable plugged into the computer, but I have not connected the data collector yet. With Windows 10 PCs, I find things work better if I launch Windows Mobile Device Center before I connect the data collector. So if I open Windows Mobile Device Center and then plug in the TSC3, I find things connect a little bit better and are less glitchy. So I've plugged in the data collector and now I'm just waiting for it to connect to Windows Mobile Device Center. Perfect. At this point, I just minimize Windows Mobile Device Center and then the software we're going to use to upgrade Trimble Access is uh, run through the Trimble Installation Manager. If you don't have this program, you can do a quick Google search for it. It will take you to Trimble's website and there are two versions. You need to download the online version, not the offline version. The reason for that is if you download the offline version, you'll have to install each individual Trimble Access version, whereas if you stick with the online version, you'll always be able to keep up to date as new releases are getting pushed out. So all the program's doing here currently, as you can see the device is connected up here. It also shows you your serial number, and what it's going through right now is it's checking warranty status to see what updates are available based on your expiration date. So from here, it's run through and checked uh, that we can run the latest release of Trimble Access on here. These are some of the these green marks are what are is already installed on the data collector itself. You have a information icon here. We'll take you to new features or enhancements. These would be some of the release notes. In addition, you've got different language options here. Uh, English is already currently installed. Obviously, we're not going to be adding any additional languages here. If there's a module you guys are wanting to try, you can go to Try Software, and you can unlock any of these for a 30-day period. If you're wanting to explore and play with the Roads module or Monitoring module or some of these other options. So these would be Trimble run uh, modules that can be added. And then these are some third-party options that you can install as well. Uh, assign license, this is something we do at our office when we assign you guys roads or pipelines. And then relinquish license, I do not recommend you guys go into there at all. That would be uh, removing Trimble Access from your device. This would be if you're moving Trimble Access from a TSC3 to a TSC7. But that's something we try to do here at our office to prevent hiccups and data uh, getting misplaced and or lost. So. Under the Install Updates option, English is already installed, so we don't have to worry about that. All we need to do is pick the latest version of Trimble Access and hit Install. Now, when you guys install the new versions of Trimble Access, you'll need to make sure that the software is closed on the data collector itself before you begin. And secondly, you might want to go through and see if there's older jobs you can delete out or that have already been backed up. The less data you have on the data collector tends to lead, uh, makes this process go A, faster and more successful. Some of you, after you hit install, might get a failed error that pops up. You guys can simply close everything down, reconnect the data collector, try redoing the process, and see if things will be successful. Every now and then I have to do this three times for one to go through. One of the other things you might see, if you're trying to do, do too big of a jump, if, as an example, if you're on 2016.12 and you're trying to jump to the latest release, that's a pretty big um, jump in version. Sometimes we'll get failures there. So one of the things you might do is uh, move to 2017.00. You might have to leapfrog a couple of these. Your other option would uh, simply bring it into the office and we can back up your data. We'll erase Trimble Access entirely. We can then reload the latest version and then use Trimble Business Center to upgrade all of your jobs and put all those back onto the data collector itself. So with that, if you guys have chosen the latest release here, you can hit install 
Sometimes this takes anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to call uh, our office in Denver or our office down in Albuquerque. We'd be happy to help out.